Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video I'm going to talk about physics thrusters. It's part of a series that I'm doing on using physics and physics simulation in the Unreal Engine. Uh, okay, so a physics thruster is a thing that you can put into your Blueprint classes. So uh, what I've got here, sorry, is a um, standard third-person template uh, with nothing added. I'm just going to add my own Blueprint class, uh, which is from Actor. Deriving from actor, I'm just going to call my box. I'm going to have a weird box thing that's just going to have a, a thruster attached to it. So let's open this up. And the first thing we want to do is to stick a cube on. There we go. And this is the, the object that's going to be uh, subject to the forces. And um, I'm going to, whilst we've got the cube selected, I'm just going to uh, go to the physics of it and click simulate physics. Uh, so that means the physics simulation will work. It can it'll move around. It can be kicked. Um, but I'm going to take gravity off. Uh, so it will float in me there. Um, and anything else in here? I'm just going to put a little bit of angular damping on that. Um, just one. Just to stop it from spinning forever if it starts spinning. Okay. And then I'm going to add a, a physics thruster. So I'm going to type in physics um, thruster, the one that I want. And this is a component that adds a force uh, on on the uh, object. And we will try it out to see which direction the force is working in. Uh, so the thrust strength at the moment is 100, which is tiny. Um, I'm going to up that to 10,000. And if you've done anything with forces in Unreal, you know that your numbers need to be really quite big uh, to have effects that you can see. Um, and the other thing that we need to do is to make sure that it is actually switched on. So I'm going to go to the activation here and click Auto Activate. Okay, let's compile that and stick one of those in the world and see what happens. I'm uh, just going to stick it to um, play. Right, let's watch. So we can see it's being pushed in this direction. Okay, now if I go and spin it a bit, you can see it's been moved in a different direction now because it's fixed to the object and the object isn't falling. So as it turns, uh, I said the object isn't falling. It looks like it's falling now, but that's because it's being pushed downwards by the thruster. If I see if I can spin it over onto another side and it should move around. There we go. Right, we're just going to play with that a little bit. Um, I mean, that's the basics of it. There's really not much else to show apart from uh, messing about with uh, with settings to make it more interesting. Um, and I'm going to just change that physics thruster to be a higher uh, uh, thrust strength. What did I have there? Was it 1,000 or 10,000? 10, 10,000, I'm going to up that to uh, stronger. Um, and uh, compile that. I'm just going to turn it around. Uh, so and the reason for doing this is so that it's facing the stairs. Uh, got it selected. Uh, so I want to thrust into those stairs because I know that that will have an effect on uh, how it behaves. And move it around. So that's quite a bit stronger thrust. And it's now in the position where it's going downwards. So let's give it a kick. And it's thrusting upwards and it's going off into the distance. There we go. So that's how to apply a physics thruster to your, uh, to your Blueprint classes. Uh, you can use Blueprint scripts to do things like turn them on and off and change the uh, parameters in there. Um, but that's the basics of it. So that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.